Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Cursed City painting tutorial. And today we are painting the last in our heroes, our playable characters, and that is Octran Glimscry. So, here he is, looking suitably old and creepy. So, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to jump in and start painting him. He has been primed with grey sear. The first colour we're going to be using is Shayish Purple. And we're going to be using this on all of his top robe, which is all of this area. It's not his like kind of underskirt there. You just want to do all of his top robe with the shyish purple. Just using these nice big broad brush strokes and the tip of our brush to get a nice even coat. With that shayish purple applied to our top cape, what we're going to do now is going to paint in his skirt. And the colour we're going to make is a roughly two parts Griff Charger grey to one part Space Wolves grey mix. We just want to get this all over. His other robe. And then next up, we're going to use that exact same mix again to give it a second layer. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Achillean green. We're going to use this to paint in the book under his arm. And with that done, we're then going to take some Flesh Terrors Red. I'm going to use that to paint in the cover of this book here. And with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to use some Saigor Brown to paint in a couple of things. Firstly, we've got his boot. You just see poking out from underneath his skirt. And then we're also going to paint in the th 
third and final color cover. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some wildwood. I'm going to use this to paint in his wooden staff. And with that done, we're then going to use some Agaros Dunes. I'm going to use it to paint in all the paper. It's got areas like the pages between each of the books. We've got these rolls here. Got one under there as well. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to paint in his long beard. And the two colors we're going to be using are apothecary white and basilicanum gray. What we want to do is we want to take that apothecary white on our brush first. We just want to get it all the way down. The entirety of his beard, like so. Just gonna quickly do the other side as well, like that. And what we do is we wash the brush. Whilst it's still wet, we grab some basilicon and grey, and around about halfway, sort of around about there. Just add a layer like that. And similarly on the other side as well. Then what you do, you wash your brush and grab a little bit of apothecary white once again. Just where the two colours meet. Just move the brush back and forth. Like that. Just to give it that fade into the grey. And with that done, what we then want to do is take some skeleton hoard and we're going to use this to paint in his mask. Just like this. Don't need very much at all here. It needs to be quite a soft colour. Like so. And with that done, what we then do is take some Gilliman flesh and we use this to paint in his hands and his mouth. You can just see his bottom lip just in there. And with that done, what we then want to do is take some black Templar. We're going to use this for just a few black details. So we've got the tie hanging this little contraption of some kind. I'm guessing it's like a runic ward or something. Going to need in the city of Olfenkarn, particularly if you're carrying around a bunch of books which look like they shouldn't have the, that kind of well, you shouldn't have those books filled with forbidden knowledge, I suspect. So, you want to color in a little tie up there on the stuff. What we also want to do is want to use this black Templar to color in the strap on this book down here.
So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thinned down Retributor armor. We're going to use it to paint in all of the gold details. Now this is effectively a bunch of stuff like the scroll here. You've got the little doodad hanging off his staff up here as well. Then we've got various little decorations and things. Actually, just going to add a little bit more retributor armor to my mix down here. It's a little bit watery, a little bit too much. And with that done, just to finish off this round of base coats, what we're going to do is going to take some Tanisar blue. I'm going to use this to paint in the orb at the top of his staff. And with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Basilicarnum Grey. I'm going to use this to shade, not to highlight, to shade all of our gold. And with that done, it's now time to start adding some highlights and we're going to go right back to the beginning. We're going to start with the purple. The colour that we're going to use first is Zerius Purple. So you just want to pick out all of the sharp edges in all of the folds. And any tears in the fabric. And with that Zerius purple applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to use some Gene Stealer purple to add a little bit of extra highlighting. Kind of like a spot highlight, and this time it's going to be more of a kind of second, more narrower highlight. So it's not a spot highlight, Josh. <laughs> Just like that. And lastly, just to finish off all that purple, we're then going to take some Demonette Hide. We're going to use this in the sharpest areas to give the impression of the light catching off of the soft, well, the hard edges in the soft robes. So you don't, really don't need to cover a lot. We just want to pick out little corners here and there. Just like that. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Fenrisian Grey. I'm going to use this do a very similar thing on his skirts. Just picking out all of the edges in the folds. Just like that. And with that Fenris in grey all applied, what we then do is take some blue horror we use this as our little spot highlight on the skirts. So again, we don't just pick out the whole section. We just want to choose little bits. Like that. Just give it that impression once again that the light is catching off of that robe. And next up, we're going to use some Liberator Gold to highlight all of our gold details. And with that done, what we now want to do is take some squig orange. A little too much of my brush there. And we want to use this to highlight our red book.
And then next up, we want to take some Lothern Blue. We want to use this to highlight our blue book. And then next up, we're going to use some Scrag Brown. We're going to use this to highlight all of our dark brown leather details, including this book here. And of course, the straps. And a little tie. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Bane Blade Brown and use this to highlight our wooden staff. And with that done, we're then going to take some Carrack Stone. I'm going to add this as a little bit of a spot highlight to our wooden staff. And with that done, we're then going to take some Screaming Skull. We're going to use this, not that much. We're going to use this to highlight all of our parchment. As well as his mask. Now with that done, we now want to take some Administratum Grey. We want to use this to highlight the darkest tips of his beard. As well as the rest of our black details. So we've got the little tie up there little buckle down here. And with that done, we're then going to take some Flayed One Flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight his skin. And with that done, what we now want to do is we're going to take some Saigor Brown. I'm going to use this in two different ways. First, I'm going to take this Saigor Brown and in the eye slits, of the mask, just want to add a bit like this. Just like that, just to make it really hollow. But what we also want to do, to wash the brush, is grab a tiny amount of Saigor Brown on the tip of our brush. We want to use this to draw in some little writing on the page sticking out of the book. Just by drawing these little wavy wiggly lines. And with that done, Octran Glimscry is pretty much finished. However, there is one more thing that we can do. We can do a little bit of cool stuff to the orb at the top of his staff. Now the colour we're going to be using is Lothern Blue. What we want to do is we want to kind of draw in the basis foundation for some swirls. And what we want to do is we just want to almost stipple this on in a line going across there. At the top. And then we want to do the same thing around here at the bottom.
like so. And on the back, you just want to do one. Like so. You can also do a little bit bit. Under here as well. And with that northern blue done like that, what we then do is we do effectively the small, same thing again, but slightly narrower with some ulthu and grey. So just around here on this top bit, you just want to stipple. Just by stabbing it lots of little times. Just like this. And then with that all through in grey applied, what we then do is take some Corax white and do the same thing, but a lot narrower. In the middle. Just like that. And so with that, Octran Glimpse Grey is now finished and he looks pretty awesome. I'm very pleased with him. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the base and as always I recommend you do this in the same style as the rest of your Cursed City set. Uh, if you want to see how I'm going to do mine you can check out how to paint Captain Imelda Braskov or how to paint Jelson Darak as that's where I covered the recipe for this Cursed City set in detail. With the base done Octrin Glimscry is now finished. And he is so creepy. I mean, look at him. I just... I'm actually unsettled by this miniature. <laughs> Which doesn't happen very often. But I just, I don't... I, he's so ruddy mysterious, you know. What's under that mask? And why does he look like a necromancer? And why is that a good thing? I don't know, I guess you find out more about that in the Cursed City book. Or indeed, if you read some of the background included in the box, which I am yet to do. But yeah, it's just so creepy. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, like these legends and bosses that you can see on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.